and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome so in today's video we're going to be looking at the slope intercept form of a line okay I have done um, I've explained slope so please do watch you know the beginning um, I have also arranged these videos in a free video course on the DTWG the website sorry it's not showing here okay just when you go to DTWG the prep GED prep dot com okay you will see free GED courses just click there go to the algebra course and you know go through the videos I've arranged them from the beginning of algebra okay several almost how many topics like 20 everything on the algebra I've covered it there so just go to that course I'll leave the link in the video description box of this video okay so please do make sure you watch that before you come to this all right and also on the website you can see uh, summary notes study guides free practice questions the GED formula sheet you can join our groups we have a telegram group okay where we offer free classes and um, you know preps we have Facebook group we have the reddit group you can join our groups you know to get your GED out of the way all right so now uh, we come here so the slope intercept form this is the formula now you don't need to cram this it's in the GED formula sheets it will be given to you if you're using doing the test online there's a part called a uh, button called formula click it and you'll see this formula but if you go to the fiscal center you'll be given a formula sheet which you would also see this formula so you don't need to cram it you don't need to be bothered about the formula it's just understanding the formula now let us let me interpret this formula we have this formula y equal to mx plus b what does y stand for what does m stand for what does x stand for what does b stand for all right the first letter here which we should know is m m stands for slope okay it's the slope of the line and the slope of the line has a formula which you, we use to calculate please watch that video all right then next is b b is the y intercept that is where y touches the um where the line touches the y axis if you know i've explained also coordinates um the coordinates uh, grid i've explained it also in the video please do what do make sure you you watch those videos before you come here so you know you are not confused and lost all right Wait, watch that video before you get to this so uh this is the y axis this is the x axis and where the line that's your linear equation touches the y axis is known as the y intercept and it stands for b so b is the y intercept okay which is the y value at the point where the line crosses the y axis so for this particular line the b our b is seven all right because that's where y where the line touches what the y axis all right then our variables x and y are just coordinate points of any point on the coordinate grid for example it can be this point all right the coordinates the points the location of this point is we have here it's at x at four and y at four at four all right i have also taught on how to locate points on the coordinate grid okay so this the full explanation of this formula and we use this formula you know to try to form the equation of a line okay to form the equation of a line now look at these questions all right we have several questions there are six questions we're going to go through together now this first question says find the equation of the line with a slope half that contains the point this so this is x and this is y so we have the slope which is what m all right so the slope intercept form is y equal to mx plus b so what do we do first all right we have to first of all find b all right to find b okay we know m as half we know our x y and x as this so let us put in the values all right so our y is six our m is half and what is x x is two so this is times what two all right plus b this would cancel this we're left with one here so we have six equal to one plus b I will just take this one here and it becomes what a negative when you take a positive one to the other side it becomes a negative one equal to b and what is six minus one that is five equal to b and which is the same as b is equal to five so our y-intercept b is five we don't end there 
the next thing we have to do now is substitute these values into the slope intercept form. So we come here and we say y, you leave your y, okay, without putting any value, is equal to you put the value of your n, which we have as half, half, you put x, you don't put any value for x, then we'll put plus, we put our value for b is what five. So this is the equation of this line, okay, that has the equation of the line that has a slope of n and contains the point two and six. Okay, so this is how you look for the equation of the line using the slope intercept form. Now, let's do another example. Okay, so now when you now have a case where you are to find the equation of the line that passes through two points. Now you can see we are not given the um, slope here. All right, but we're given two points. So what do we need to do? We have to first find our slope. How do we find our slope? Remember the formula for our slope is what m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Do you see that? So from here, we have two points. So we have, we have this as x1, y1, and we have this as x2, y2. So we put in the values into our slope formula. So what is y2? y2 is five minus, what is y1? One over, what is x2? x2 is negative one. And what is x1? Uh, that will be minus, x1 is what? A negative two. So let us resolve this. Five minus one will give us a four. Here, this negative will multiply this negative to give us a positive. So we have a negative one, positive two. And what's the negative one, positive two? We're going to subtract which is subtract one from two, which will give us one and our sign will be a positive, okay? So we have finally four divided by one, which is a positive four. So we have our M as four. If you're confused on how we play around the signs here, please do make sure, make sure you watch the video on understanding sign, operations on integers, sign integers, okay? So we have our slope for this, um, for these two, the lines that passes through this point, that's what, four. Now, since we now know our slope, we need to find our B, which is the y-intercept, okay? How do we do it? The same way which we solved for this. Can you see the steps we were taking? Okay, so now we go y is equal to m x plus b. We know that our m is what, four. Now, what will be our y and what will be our x so we can get b. All you can do is just pick one point, just one point, pick the first point. I advise you pick the first point, minus two and one, okay? So one, y is going to be one, okay? M is four, which we just got, times our x we pick as what, negative two, then plus, what is our b? That is what we're looking for. So B is our unknown. So here we have one is equal to four times negative two is a negative eight plus B. Let's just take this negative eight here. So it gives us one plus eight equal to B. So what is one plus eight? That is nine equal to B. So our B is equal to nine. So finally, now we can write our equation of this line. Okay, in respect to this formula. So now we have y is equal to, what is our m? Our m is four, put your x plus, what is our, our b? Our b is nine. So this is the equation of the line, okay? That crosses, that passes through these two points. Okay, so this would be our answer. All right, you see the steps we take, all right? Now, let me quickly clear the screen. Now, number three says, write the equation, this, in slope-intercept form. Okay, you see, so these questions I'm giving you are likely questions that can come out from the GED. These are the way they ask the questions on slope-intercept form, okay? After the slope-intercept form, we're going to work on point um, slope form, okay? So here... It says, write the equation this in slope-intercept form. So what it means is, write it pertaining, it should be in this manner, what, the way 
we did for number two, one and two, the final process. Okay, so for for it to be liking as this, we must make sure Y stands alone. We must have a positive Y standing alone here and equating to MX plus B. It must be liking as this. So here we do, so we have 4X minus 2Y equal to 8. I will just take this 4X here. So we are left here with negative 2Y equal to, let us, you know, we're trying to arrange as like to liken as this. So let us put our 4x here. Since this is a positive 4x, when it comes here, it's going to be a negative 4x. This here is already a positive 8, so we add positive 8. Okay? It will remain a positive 8 because we are not moving. You know, we didn't move it. It's, it's on one side of the equation, okay, of the equal to sign. So here, we don't stop here. You can see we have to make y stand alone, a positive y stand alone. So to make a positive y stand alone, what do we do? We divide everything by a negative 2. So I'll divide this by a negative 2. Divide this value by a negative 2. Divide this positive 8 by a negative 2. So this negative 2 cancels out this negative 2 to give us a y. Now, this is, uh, remember, uh, laws in, uh, you know, sign, division of sign. A negative dividing a negative will be a positive, Okay. Uh, all right, it's going to cancel out, and um, 2 would go in 4 2 times, and 2 times x is 2x. Now, here we have a positive 8 divided in negative 8. It's, we are going to have a negative value, and 8 divided by 2 will give us what? A 4. All right, so this is, we have written this equation in slope-intercept form. Can you see that? It is now in slope-intercept form. Y is standing alone, and we have our m x and negative 4 so from here our slope is 2 and our y intercept is what that's our b is negative 4 okay now let's do another one it says here uh you can have a question like this that says what are the slope and y intercept of this equation okay you must first of all arrange it let it become like this in this form before you now say, this is my slope, this is my y-intercept. So let us arrange this. I'm going to come here, 5x negative y equal to 2. I'm going to take this 5x here. So I'm going to be left with y minus y equal to, taking this positive 5x here becomes negative 5x. This would be what? A positive 2. You can see this is negative. It is not yet as this slope-intercept form. We need to cancel out this negative, okay? So when you see uh, a variable standing alone, there's like an invisible one here, all right? It's like an invisible one. So I'm going to divide everything by a negative one. So this negative cancels out. So I divide by a negative one, divide by a negative one, divide by a negative one. So this negative one cancels out this negative. I'm left with the positive y. This would cancel out this negative. 5x divided by one give us 5x. And this is a positive 2 divided by a negative 1. When you have a positive or a negative, we have a negative. And 2 divided by 1 is still a 2. So you can see now we have this in the slope-intercept form. So now we can say what our slope is and what our y-intercept is. So from here, our slope is what m, which is what 5. And our y-intercept is what a negative 2. You see that. So we write here. Our slope is 5 and our y-intercept is negative 2. Okay, do you see that? This is how you solve these particular questions when you get them on your GED. Now, let's go to uh, when you now have questions that are graphs, all right? You have a coordinate grid here and you have to also find the equation. <laughs> how do you do it? You know, you have this and you're just giving like several options with several equations. How? What do you do? Okay, still the same method. Write out your slope intercept form. Y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so what is b? As I explained, b is the y intercept. So we now know the, the value of our b is where the line touches y. So this is where the line touches y. So the value of b here is 7. So we've gotten our value of b as 7. All right, so now to get the slope, we have to take two points on the line. Okay, you know, remember how from question two, how we got the slope. 
square slope result m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so this point, I can easily take this point here. This point here is uh, x at 0, y at 7, this point. I can pick another point that will be easy for me, okay? Okay, look at this point here. I can easily pick this point. This point is x at what? 2 and y at 1. Positive, positive. So we can use these two points to find our slope, m. Okay? So, because, you know, we need to put in this value, the value of our b and our slope into the slope intercept form to get the equation. All right, so this will be my x1, y1. This will be my x2, y2. So let's put it into here. So we have our y2 is 1 minus our, our y1 is 7 over our x2 is 2 and our y our x1 is 0. So we have here 1 minus 7, that's a negative 6, and 2 minus 0, that's a 2. So we have negative 6 divided by positive 2. That will give us a negative 3. So our slope is a negative 3. Do we see that? Our slope is a negative 3. Okay? So from here, what do we do? So from here, we do what? We take, we have our b as 7, we have our m as what? Negative 3. So we put it, put these two into our slope intercept form. So this becomes y is equal to our m is negative 3, then drop our x, then our b is a positive, so that's plus 7. So this is the equation of this particular line, okay? Now, we repeat the same process here. All right, so the first thing is we know our B. What is our B? Okay, from here, the line crosses the y-intercept at a negative 3. So B is equal to negative 3. Okay, so we have one point here. One point here is 0, comma, negative 3. We can pick, I can pick this point. This is an easy point. This point here is um, x at 6 and y at 0. So we can now find... Uh, uh, the slope, okay, using this formula. So this will be x1, y1, and this will be, sorry, and this will be x2, y2. So from here, x, uh, y2, okay, using this our formula, let me bring it down here, m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 0 minus y1 is what negative 3 so that's negative 3 into parentheses x2 is 6 and x1 is what 0 so this will multiply this and give us a positive so we have a positive 3 over 6 and that is half so m is half okay so we now put it into this our point our slope intercept form it becomes y equal to our m that slope is half x then our b our y intercept is what a negative three so this is the final equation of this particular line all right so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video please do give this video a thumbs up share this video to friends family and loved ones preparing for the ged uh, test and also um you can check our website for several resources free courses okay on our website that would help you pass your ged summary notes study guides free practice uh, questions okay and you can also um uh, contact us for one-on-one -on -one tutoring join our groups facebook group a reddit group telegram group i'll leave all the links in the video description box and finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon please do give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life is the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us that peace that we require here on earth okay and you know he's going to make our lives beautiful once more so please do give your life to christ and you know leave any wrong way you have gone wrong all right leave and just come to him and 
he will do you good and give you rest. All right, thank you and see you in our next video.